let's understand types of workout now it can be divided into cardio and weight training now in cardio it is again divided into weight bearing and non weight bearing this is again divided into non impact based and impact based so this is non impact based now it is very important to um understand this in depth and get knowledge about this because many of us make wrong choices and mistakes when it comes to training now weight training this i'll be talking about in another video i won't be including it in today's video today i'll only be talking about cardio so this is how it is divided now um so in non in impact based it is um weight bearing impact based that is uh walking okay these are examples jogging running and um jumping movements zumba fitness um aerobics like uh, you know step ups dance aerobics using step ups okay all of this now here in this the body okay is upright and there is foot strike taking place so your body is upright and there is foot strike taking place in all of this workout jumping jogging running walking zumba fitness then step up dance okay um in non impact based weight bearing it is elliptical trainer arc trainer stepper so this if you have visited the gym and you know seen in the cardio section you will see this elliptical trainer arc trainer um adaptive motion trainer and stepper so here the body is upright okay you are in a standing position but there is no foot strike taking place okay in these kinds of workout you are standing upright but there is foot strike taking place in the, this workout there is no foot strike taking place but the body is in motion it can be either the lower body or the upper body or both but foot strike is not taking place now in this third part the non weight bearing non impact based examples are swimming 
साइक्लिंग रोइंग एंड डीप वॉटर जॉगिंग और वॉकिंग जॉगिंग डीप वॉटर जॉगिंग यूजिंग द फ्लोटेशन बेल्ट now but this example definitely all get an idea that here the body is seated or it is lying down and foot strike is not taking place no foot strike so if you have seen you know these uh, equipment in the gym okay swimming you are aware of there is no foot strike taking place there is no okay uh, body is in a lying position okay uh, cycling body is in seated position that it's not weight bearing it's non weight bearing when you are standing position it is weight bearing okay and then uh, rowing they also your seated position and deep water jogging or walking in with the flotation belt now it's very important to get a understanding of this because many people who are obese overweight people okay people with injuries uh beginners and people who have uh, you know uh, not worked out for a very long time sedentary lifestyle okay extremely inactive extremely inactive people who have just joined the gym people who are elderly then people who are undergoing rehab with some surgery or injuries okay all of this problems uh, special people definitely it's very important to get a understanding of this i'll explain to you all why now consider a person who's obese say she weighs around 95 kgs now as per ibw that is ideal body weight she is supposed to be 65 kgs now this lady if you calculate she is 30 kgs overweight now in reality this lady is carrying 30 kgs of extra weight on her body every day now this extra weight is definitely a load on the joints and when this lady comes to the gym and she wants to reduce weight either she is self taught or advised wrongly and she is told to walk jog on the treadmill uh you know running activities a lot of jumping movements like jumping jack burpees all of those workouts and this lady uh i mean she is you know very dedicated she wants to reduce weight so she does this activity but 30 extra kgs that she is carrying on daily basis even when she is not in the gym and working out 30 extra kgs is a load on the joints extra load and when she works out definitely it will cause a lot of stress and strain on her joints giving a person who is obese or overweight okay and it applies to the other cases also in this category people who are extremely inactive and just new to the gym people who have injuries giving them these kinds of workout impact based workout 
where there is a lot of jumping movements a lot of running activity foot strike is taking place weight bearing not recommended definitely in course of time this is going to cause stress and strain which is lead which is going to lead to injuries pain in the joints that's where it is important to get the right knowledge and the workout program should be designed rightly and this person should be guided rightly so that's where it's always advice advised to go for non impact based training cardio training and so it is 1 and 3 okay non impact based where there is no foot strike taking place but there is cardio workout being done so this person will definitely you know be able to exercise the cardio uh, workout and uh, you know not cause stress strain and cause injury to her body so this is just in simple understanding it is important to be guided rightly and the workout program has to be designed rightly depending on every individual every individual's requirement and body type is different and that's where it is important to seek right guidance